Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Barrent Narrated by Andrew Originally published in 1921 This is a great audiobook production created for research, study, and discussion purposes. Chapter 11 How to Bring the Power in Your Word Into Action In every word you use, there is a power germ which expands and projects itself in the direction your word indicates and ultimately develops into physical expression. For example, you wish the consciousness of joy. Repeat the word joy secretly, persistently, and emphatically. The repetition of the word joy sets up a quality of vibration which causes the joy germ to begin to expand and project itself until your whole being is filled with joy. This is not a mere fancy, but a truth. Once you experience this power, you will daily prove to yourself that these facts have not been fabricated to fit a theory, but the theory has been built up by careful observation of facts. Everyone knows that joy comes from within. No one can give it to you. Another may give you cause for joy, but no one can be joyous for you. Joy is a state of consciousness, and consciousness is purely mental. Troward says that mental faculties always work under something which stimulates them, and this stimulus may come either from without, through the external senses, or from within. By the consciousness of something not perceptible on the physical plane. The recognition of this interior source of stimulus enables you to bring into your consciousness any state you desire. Once a thing seems normal to you, it is as surely yours. Through the law of growth and attraction, as it is yours to no addition after you have learned the use of figures. This method of repeating the word makes the word in all of its limitless meaning yours, because words are the embodiment of thoughts, and thought is creative, neither good nor bad, simply creative. This is the reason why faith builds up and fear destroys. Only believe, and all things are possible unto you. It is faith that gives you dominion over every adverse circumstance or condition. It is your word of faith that sets you free, not faith in any specific thing or act, but simple faith in your best self in all ways. It is this ever-present creative power within the heart of the word that makes your health, your peace of mind, and your financial condition a reproduction of your most habitual thought. Try to believe and understand this, and you will find yourself master of every adverse circumstance or condition, for you will become a prince of power. For more audiobook like this, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new audiobook. Thanks for listening.